the biggest tragedy I've suffered, which is the loss of my only child. He died of drugs, of an overdose after going to three treatment programs and a psych inpatient unit for suicide attempt, and uh, he just couldn't stay sober. I was so shaky and so in grief that I was crying most of the time, and I just couldn't function. I was dysfunctional. Magic happened, like a door, the door closed on my life. My role as a therapist, a mother, a wife, a salsa dancer, a daughter. I just, I dropped out and dropped in to this dark night of the soul. I would stand up there and I would paint and dance and cry at the same time. Loud music all the time. I spent a lot of time healing and I think that that self-portraits and all those self-expiration and therapy and, and healing through painting brought out color in my life. And then I got into glitter. Everything I did had glitter. There wasn't one thing that didn't have glitter. My art was a healing tool, was a mean healing tool. I had therapy and I did body work and I did all that. But I feel that my progression came through being able to express myself through art and that's kind of my mission. I really would like to help others to learn to express grief and heal through art. I somehow had had a gift of a new life. I, I think of it as I got a new life. I was born again as an artist living on Maui and all I saw were color. When my husband and I got married, everybody had to come in purple. It was like a secret purple wedding and you had to show up in purple. I, I embrace the dark as well as the light and somehow the light wins out more that often than not, you know? And I think that the way to do it is find ways to turn yourself on. I don't mean by sex, I mean by what inspires you. My garden inspires me, walking on the beach inspires me, you know? And then I can go home and sit in the studio and paint for three hours, you know? How many friends are in the 70s and they're in the darkness of the, the health? And you know, when I am in it, it's hard and I'm depressed and it's hard to find joy. I mean, last year I was down for six weeks, went to the ER twice, but you know, I managed to paint a little. I painted dark. You know, because I know that that painting through the emotions can get you to another side, because I got to another side. I feel like this life is a gift now. And now I just want to stay home and paint and have art shows and have fun. I, how I celebrated turning 70 after almost croaking at, at 60 was I had a um, circus. I had 150 people. I had five food stations. I had a big elephant. I had a tent and I did it. 30 minute performance with eight different masks and costume changes. And I had a uh, comedy routine people, comedy troupe, you know, like performance art. And then I had a band and we danced and I changed costumes and it was just really fun. 